Watch an important briefing today on El Nino. A leading scientist warned there is strong evidence we could receive twice our normal rainfall this winter. KCAL 9 Serene Branson has this update and a look at how some people who live in the foothills are getting ready. If you can imagine your house with three to four feet of mud in every room and many, many things missing, including your whole garage and your car, that's kind of what it was like. Pat Anderson remembers the 2010 storm that sent mud flowing into her La Cunata home like it was yesterday. Certainly more mud and water I've ever seen in my whole life. So she gets a little weary when she hears the latest El Nino predictions yeah, coming out of a conference in Van Nuys today. It's time to get prepared. William Patzard is a NASA JPL scientist who met with lawmakers and public agencies to plan for what could be the strongest El Nino since the 1997 storm that killed 17 people. This El Nino is too big to fail. It's the the real deal, all right, and it will probably double our rainfall this coming winter. That could mean nearly 30 inches of rain when we normally get less than 15. Numbers that have neighbors here clearing gutters and drains. So while sandbags and shovels are still a fixture in this neighborhood, there's one thing you won't see a lot of. Rails. That's because underneath this pavement that was covered in mud nearly five years ago is now a massive pipe, seven and a half feet wide in diameter, buried 25 feet below the surface, so water flows underneath homes at a canyon. All of us neighbors up here agreed that it was time to move the K rails. And so the K rails are gone. El Nino is coming, and we're all preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. This winter will be the first test. Anderson hopes between that and her new steel reinforced walls. Hopefully, it does the trick. <laughs> In La Cunata, Flint Ridge, Serene Branson, KCAL 9 News.